The 12 Titans of Greek Mythology Intro Welcome back, mythology enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the ancient world of Greek mythology to explore the 12 Titans. These powerful deities were the precursors to the Olympian gods and played a crucial role in shaping myths and legends of ancient Greece. We'll explore their abilities, weaknesses, interesting facts, how their stories evolved over time, and how they helped people. Let's get started with the leader of the Titans, Cronus. Cronus. First up is Cronus, the leader of the Titans. Known for his immense power and control over time, Cronus wielded a sickle and was often depicted as a fearsome and authoritative figure. Abilities. Cronus had the ability to manipulate time and was a skilled strategist. Weaknesses. His fear of being overthrown led him to consume his own children. Interesting fact. Cronus's rule ended when his son Zeus tricked him into regurgitating his siblings, leading to the rise of the Olympian gods. Historical evolution. Over time, Cronus was often associated with the Roman god Saturn, whose festival Saturnalia celebrated the golden age of abundance that Cronus's reign represented. How he helped people. During Cronus's rule, it was said to be a golden age where there was no need for laws or rules because everyone did the right thing naturally. People lived in peace and harmony without suffering or toil. Rhea. Next we have Rhea, the nurturing tightness of fertility and motherhood. She is often depicted surrounded by symbols of fertility, such as lions and a crown of leaves. Abilities. Rhea had the power to grant fertility and was a protective mother figure. Weaknesses. Her compassion sometimes made her vulnerable. Interesting fact. Rhea saved her youngest son, Zeus, from being swallowed by Cronus by tricking him with a stone wrapped in swaddling clothes. Historical evolution. Rhea's story and characteristics merged with Cybele, a Phrygian mother goddess who also became associated with nature and fertility in the Roman pantheon. How she helped people. Rhea was revered as a mother figure and protector, often invoked by women seeking fertility and safe childbirth. Oceanus. Oceanus, the titan of the ocean, is next. He is depicted with waves, sea creatures, and a flowing river, symbolizing his dominion over all the world's waters. Abilities. Oceanus controlled the vast encircling river believed to surround the earth. Weaknesses. His vast domain made it difficult to control every aspect of the ocean. Interesting fact. Unlike many titans, Oceanus did not participate in the war against the Olympians, choosing to remain neutral. Historical evolution. Over time, Oceanus' role as a boundary of the known world became symbolic in art and literature, representing the edge of civilization and the unknown. How he helped people. Oceanus provided the world's water, essential for life, navigation, and trade, helping ancient civilizations thrive. Tethys. Standing alongside Oceanus is Tethys, the tightness of freshwater streams and rivers. She nurtured the earth with her flowing waters. Abilities. Tethys controlled freshwater bodies, providing life-giving water to the earth. Weaknesses. Her nurturing nature could be exploited. Interesting fact. Tethys and Oceanus were believed to be the parents of all river gods and ocean nymphs. Historical evolution. Tethys' identity gradually faded in later mythology, with many of her attributes absorbed by other deities related to water. How she helped people. Tethys ensured that rivers and streams provided fresh water for drinking, agriculture, and sustaining life. Hyperion. Next is Hyperion, the Titan of Light. He is depicted with the radiant sun and beams of light emanating from him. Abilities. Hyperion could control and distribute light, bringing day to the world. Weaknesses. His reliance on the sun made him vulnerable during the night. Interesting fact. Hyperion is often considered the father of Helios, the sun, Selene, the moon, and Eos, the dawn. Historical evolution. Hyperion's legacy lived on through his children, particularly Helios, who later became synonymous with the sun god in Greek and Roman mythology. How he helped people. Hyperion's light allowed crops to grow and kept the world warm, making life possible on Earth. Thea. Thea, the tightness of the shining blue sky, stars, and gemstones, is next. She is known for her radiant beauty and connection to the heavens. Abilities. Thea had the power to bestow clarity and vision, and her presence could illuminate the darkest nights. Weaknesses. Her brilliance could be dimmed by powerful forces of darkness. Interesting fact. Thea's children include Helios, the sun, Selene, the moon, and Eos, the dawn, making her the mother of celestial bodies. Historical evolution. Thea's attributes became less distinct over time, often merging with other goddesses of light and vision. How she helped people. 
Thea's light and vision were seen as blessings, helping people navigate and find their way. Coas, Coas, the titan of intellect and the axis of heaven, is depicted holding a globe or star map, surrounded by constellations. Abilities, Coas had immense wisdom and could understand and predict celestial movements. Weaknesses, his deep contemplation often made him isolated. Interesting fact, Coas's name means query or questioning, highlighting his intellectual nature. Historical evolution. Coas's intellectual legacy influenced later depictions of seers and oracles who sought to understand the cosmos. How he helped people. Coas provided the knowledge of the stars and heavens, helping ancient people navigate and understand the universe. Phoebe. Phoebe, the titaness associated with the moon and oracles, is next. She is depicted holding the moon and surrounded by stars. Abilities. Phoebe had prophetic powers and could see into the future. Weaknesses. Her vision sometimes led to burdensome knowledge. Interesting fact, Phoebe is the grandmother of Apollo and Artemis, who also hold significant celestial roles. Historical evolution. Phoebe's connection to oracles was later associated with the Oracle of Delphi, a significant religious site in ancient Greece. How she helped people. Phoebe's prophecies and guidance helped people make important decisions and understand their destinies. Nemosini. Nemosine, the titaness of memory, is depicted surrounded by scrolls and books. She is the personification of memory and the mother of the muses. Abilities. Nemosine could recall any memory and was a source of inspiration for poets and artists. Weaknesses. The burden of all memories could be overwhelming. Interesting fact. Nemosine's union with Zeus produced the nine muses, who preside over the arts and sciences. Historical evolution. Nemosine's influence persisted through the muses, who became central figures in the artistic and scholarly pursuits of the classical world. How she helped people, Nemosine preserved the memory of history and inspired creativity, ensuring that knowledge and art were passed down through generations. Themis, Themis, the titaness of divine law and order, is depicted holding scales of justice. She represents fairness and natural law. Abilities, Themis could foresee the future and understand the laws of nature. Weaknesses, her rigid adherence to law made her inflexible. Interesting fact, Themis is often seen as a counselor to Zeus, providing guidance on justice and order. Historical evolution, Themis's imagery influenced later depictions of Lady Justice. Seen in courthouses worldwide, holding scales and a sword often blindfolded. How she helped people, Themis provided guidance on justice and fairness, helping to establish laws and societal order. Creus. Creus, the titan of constellations, is depicted standing among stars and cosmic symbols. He had a strong connection to the heavens. Abilities. Creus could influence the positions of stars and constellations. Weaknesses. His cosmic focus often made him detached from earthly matters. Interesting fact. Creus is considered a pivotal figure in the connection between the titans and the zodiac signs. Historical evolution. Creus's influence is seen in astrology where constellations play a crucial role in interpreting human fate and personality. How he helped people. Creus's understanding of the stars helped ancient people track time, navigate, and interpret omens. Iapetus. Last but not least, we have Iapetus, the titan of mortality and human fate. He is depicted in a reflective pose, contemplating the human condition. Abilities. Iapetus could influence the life and death of mortals. Weaknesses. His deep concern with mortality made him melancholic. Interesting fact, Iapetus is the father of Prometheus, Epimetheus, Atlas, and Menoetius, all of whom played significant roles in mythological stories about humanity. Historical evolution, Iapetus's legacy is profound in the myth of Prometheus, who defied Zeus to bring fire to humanity, symbolizing knowledge and progress. How he helped people, Iapetus' sons, particularly Prometheus, directly influenced humanity by bringing fire, teaching various arts, and shaping human culture and survival. Conclusion. And there you have it, the 12 titans of Greek mythology. These powerful deities laid the foundation for many myths and legends that followed. From their incredible abilities to their intriguing stories and historical evolution, the titans continue to fascinate us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more mythological tales. Until next time, Stay curious.